3% of America's workforce resigned in September, the highest quit rate in U.S. history. Why are so many Americans leaving their jobs? And what economists are calling the Great Resignation. The answer may be found at the start of the pandemic. As employers rushed to downsize their workforce, millions of Americans were laid off or furloughed. As a result, Congress passed laws that sent trillions of dollars of relief to struggling Americans. The motion is adopted. But as the economy rebounded and jobs became available, something interesting happened. Millions of Americans decided not to go back to work. I and a number of others have called this a sort of take this job and shove it um, economy at this point. That's Lawrence Katz, a Harvard economist who can help explain why so many people are choosing not to work right now. The substantial economic stimulus payments have put them in a better uh, financial position, gave them some cushion to hold out for better jobs. With demand for workers high, employers have raised wages to attract employees. Average hourly pay has increased by more than a dollar and 30 cents over the last year. A lot of people are quitting to move to better jobs. They're quitting jobs because they want jobs with different hours or different conditions. Workers staying in the same job are seeing wages going up 3% a year and workers changing are getting over 5% a year right now. There are many good job opportunities and they have a bit more clout in the market. So the record quit rate? is the result of workers embracing unprecedented opportunities for better jobs. A paradigm shift that Lauren says could lead to other positive changes. Maybe there's a silver lining in the dark cloud of making work a bit less greedy and a bit more flexible and human. Well, I hope it will you know, give employers a greater appreciation for thinking about the balance of work lives and family and other aspects of lives.